So I picked up this cervical spine stretcher off of Amazon for about $178. Uh, after looking around on the internet, I really wasn't able to find any uh, instructions or videos on how to assemble this uh, device. So uh, after ordering it, I decided to, uh, from the moment that I unboxed it, actually make a video on uh, assembling it so that others would be able to see how it's done. One of the first things I noticed when I was unboxing it was the uh, they, they actually assembled the base onto the padding with the uh, plastic uh, bag uh, still assembled. So pulling it apart is or getting the, the plastic off. It's kind of a chore. We are going to call this piece the leg base. This will be the neck attachment. This piece, which has four screw holes in it, will be the leg frame piece A and this piece that has four mounting holes and a silver latch will be called leg frame piece B. We will refer to this piece as the head frame. These are the body straps and will not be used in this video. This is the support arm. This is the parts bag. Again here we get to deal with bolted on plastic. We will refer to this piece as the neck base. We will call this the foot attachment. And this is the wheel. This is the neck slider. And this is the foot slider. comes with two pieces of paper. One of them contains a advertisement on the front side and then uh, usage instructions on the back side. The usage instructions are in English. Uh, the other one is almost entirely in uh, foreign language. Uh, the only thing that is in English are uh, the step numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Um, and there is no description of uh, what's going on uh, in any of the pictures, so you just kind of have to figure out what they did from looking at them. That's not really easy considering the inches are about, or the, 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 the pictures are about uh, an inch and a half by two inches or thereabouts. That's the end of the unboxing. Next, we will start assembling it. Take the head frame 
the leg frame piece A and piece B in place as shown. Note that piece B will be sitting on top of piece A lined up with the four screw holes. The hardware bag will contain two wrenches, four sets of nuts and bolts, two black adjustment knobs, one retaining pin, and a strap buckle. Once you have unpacked your hardware and verified that everything is present, you can install the neck base. I am not actually removing or doing anything here, just verifying which wrenches are used on which bolts. You can now remove the nut, bolt, and black plastic roller from the head base. Next, attach the head frame to the head base with the nut, bolt, and black plastic roller. Be sure just to snug the nut and bolt up. Don't over tighten it. This unit should be able to flex when you are finished. Next, use the four nuts and bolts that came in the hardware bag to attach the leg frame piece A and B together. The beveled part of the screw goes into the inset portion of the hole, or indented portion of the hole. Each of these four screws should be tightened down firmly with a Phillips screwdriver, but not enough to bend the metal. You will see me do this later in the video, but you can do it now. Next we will attach the leg base to the leg frame. Remove the nut, bolt, and plastic roller from the neck base and attach it to the neck frame. Again, be sure not to over tighten. This piece should be able to flex once complete. You can now slide these two pieces together. Mine had a small burr on the outer edge of the frame. I used a pair of pliers to loosen it and move it back and forth and break it off. When I attempted to connect the two pieces together, I found that there was a retaining bolt. I loosened the retaining bolt, slid the two pieces together, and tightened the retaining bolt back up. Later in the video, I found that I needed to slide the two pieces together fully, not just partially. This is something that you can do now instead of waiting till later in the video. Attach the wheel to the pin on the crank in the center of the device. There is a small flat edge on the circular pin. That is where the screw should tighten down against it. If you did not tighten down the Phillips screws on the leg frames piece A and B at the beginning of the video,
do so now. If you left a gap between the two frame pieces earlier in the video, please remove that gap now. Next, insert the head slider near the head of the unit. This should slide between the two sets of rollers underneath the pads. Once the neck slider is in place, you can insert the neck attachment and secure with a black adjustment knob. The neck slider can now be attached. To do this, remove the nut and the bolt from the crank and use it to attach the neck slider to the crank. Now do the same with the foot slider. Insert the retaining pin into the foot slider. Then insert the foot attachment into the foot slider and use a black adjustment knob to secure. On the bottom of the table you will find a slide with set screw where you can attach the support arm. The only thing left to do is to attach the buckle to the straps. To do this, insert the strap from the back of the buckle in the hole nearest to the center of the buckle and pull through. Take the strap and then push it out of the second hole farthest away from the center of the buckle. Do this on both sides with both straps on the table.
I know instructional videos are a little bit dry, but thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you uh, assemble your device easier.